Hello with all of us, welcome back. I'm very happy to meet you. Before I start, I would like to say thank you for with all of us from America, Canada, and Europe. Thank you for the support and advice. And thank also to with all of us from Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, India, and especially Indonesia. Thanks for the support. And thank you for all with all of us in the world. Wherever you are, whoever you, here yeah, we are battle lovers. Well, in this vlog, I would like to talking about intimacy with beta fish. And by the way, today the sun seems so bright, we can see the beta fish is very excited. So I'm very very happy. Mm, okay, I open the topic with one question: How to develop intimate relationship with beta fish? First, we can exercise the beta. From this exercise, we can see the talent, mentality, and calmness when the fish face to face with mirror or other beta fish. If the fish has a good mentality, then we can continue to the next step. Second, we must give attention. It is the same as other pets. Usually, fish that are more intensively receive attention will have good character. The attention that we can give to the beta is always see it every morning or we can give a name to the fish. Third, regular feeding. Food is an energy source for beta fish, so don't be left to feeding fish. To let to feed the beta fish will disrupt the immune system. For regular change water, beta fish really like clean water. Try to keep the water clean by regularly changing. But if you don't have time to change it, use a large tank with a filter. Fifth, regularly playing with beta. One of the best way to play with beta is to use a stick or mirror. We can slowly direct the fish with a stick. This activity is very good for beta fish. Directly, it is can try and fish intelligence. I love to do this, especially during weekends. In principle, not all beta fish can be treated in the same way. Some beta fish, even though they are from the same parents, sometimes have different character. I often see many beta fish that are very difficult to interact with beta owner. Some beta are overreaction when looking at mirror or other beta fish. So I suggest before buying beta fish, see the character first, especially for thick scale types, because these types are unpredictable character. The thicker scales, the more difficult to open flaring. If the beta fish flaring is difficult to open, usually beta fish will have an uneasy character. This type is very difficult to interact with owner. Therefore, we must be careful to choose beta fish. Um, next topic, I want to answer the question why I like beta fish. The first answer is basically I like all kinds of animals but fish, mammals, reptiles, and so on. But I'm feel comfortable with beta fish. Beta fish is very unique, consists of several types, namely placard, crown tile, half moon, and double tile. Type of beta fish color pattern every year there is always new color pattern. We know in the past beta fish was only dark color, copper, and Cambodia, but now the colors has varied like koi, marble, fancy, and so on. There are so many uniqueness and mystery in beta fish and that's why I like beta fish. <laughs> Beta fish in Indonesia has also become a culture, a lot of championship and even in Indonesia. Even there are two assessment standards in Indonesia, namely SNI and IBC. In general, SNI Indonesia standard is very focused on form details and IBC International Beta Congress 
focus on color and original form. By the way, this is the palette I give to my beta. Palette monster, good protein content, very good for fish growth. Besides that, the price is also good. For beta lovers, I recommend you to give your beta with high protein pellets because basically beta fish are carnivore, so they like high protein foods. Okay, back to the topic about intimacy. There is one question, how long does it take to build intimacy with beta fish? Actually, the time needed is not long. We can train them for one or two weeks. I recommend fish size is 3.7 cm up, so it's not difficult to train. Um, I almost forget, there's a question, how many types of beta placa tile? Placket currently has 5 types, namely traditional placket, for example, with beta like Smardigna, Imbelis, and other beta. And then next type is common placket form. This type has a tile at least 180 degrees, like a bow and length of tile is 30% of body. And next placket is half moon placket, like the fish we see today. We can say the big tail. The tile length is around 35% to 40% of body. Then the last type of placard is PKDT and PKCT. PKDT is double tile placard and PKCT is placard cone tile. PKDT is the result from crossbreeding between placard and double tile. And PKCT is the result from crossbreeding between placard and cone tile. Well, actually, I also want to know what the experience of beta lovers in Europe and America. If in Asia, especially in Indonesia, Thailand, or Vietnam, take care beta fish is easy. But I don't know how to take care beta fish in America and Europe. I think it must have a different experience because of the temperature and weather. If you have interesting experience about caring for beta fish, you can tell the story in the comments column. Or maybe if you have a different opinion about beta fish, you can tell me. Okay, finally, thank you for the time and see you beta lovers.